At the town hall meeting, I didn't really get a chance to get into your photograph so much, although I was very impressed by it. But I have it on the computer, and I've had a chance to kind of play with it, you know, ch change the contrast and brightness and stuff, and it's brought out a couple details. All right. There's a couple things that I see here that are, are a little concerning as far as it being a Sasquatch or not. Number one, the hands and the head are of a different color than the rest of the body. The shape of the head is actually one of the things that makes me think that maybe it is a Bigfoot. Because like the, it's low on the shoulders, it has kind of a conical shape to it, kind of a flat face. I love the shape of the head. And it looks to me like the top of the head is approximately equal with the bottom of that sign. I want to figure out how bulky this thing is, how much larger in general it is. And the only way to do that is do a comparison photograph. Ian goes over to the shoulder of the road, as close as he can safely get to the actual position where he took that photograph, and snaps a few shots with the same phone he used that night. Look how much bigger it is. It's huge. It's taller and wider than you, considerably. It's got to be another six or seven inches like thicker than I am that way. It's considerably larger. It's considerably larger. This is really impressive. I came here expecting to tell Ian that, hey man, I think you photographed a guy. I think you might be mistaken. I love being wrong because every time I'm wrong about something, I learn something. And in this case, I learned that Ian very well could have photographed a Sasquatch.